Good morning, John. I kind of feel like we've been really fancy on Vlogbrothers lately. Got music video, big epic collab video, travel vlogs, tax plans, Brazil video. You did a m review of Monopoly. Let's simplify for a while. I'm just gonna tell a story. A couple of years ago, I was in the Bay, the Bay Area. I landed, and I was going to a hotel that was a while away, so I got in a taxi, it took me to the hotel. The taxi driver was super nice, he asked me where I was from. We talked about Montana, he asked me why I was there, we talked about why I was there. Which is that I was doing a thing for the launch of Randall Monroe's book, What If? which is a fantastic book. I even read to him a little bit from the book because I just think that what if is such a great thing to share with people. But like a paragraph in, the taxi driver, he's like, oh no! And so I am also like, oh, what? Oh, what happened? And he tells me that the cable that connects the meter to the transmission has fallen out, meaning it hadn't recorded the first part of our journey, and if he plugged it in now, then he'd only get paid for half. But he said he'd be fine because he does this trip a lot, he knows how much it costs, he'll just charge me that. We get to the hotel, and he tells me 120 bucks, and I say, okay. And then I go to bed, I get up in the morning, I do the event, it's great, and then I get another taxi from that same hotel to the airport, and it's 65 bucks. And then I realized, yeah, like it didn't even occur to me. But yeah. And of course, immediately I'm like, that guy was only nice to me because he wanted to know where I was from, and he was trying to make it seem like there's no way this could be the kind of guy that would take advantage of me, he's so nice. And I think about all the ways in which I could have protected myself from that, like so many common sense little things that I could have done to prevent myself from getting taken advantage of in that way. Mostly just being ashamed that I was such like a country bumpkin rube, that I was this guy's mark, I was the patsy. And it made me feel like an idiot for trusting someone and not being more skeptical. This one little example of the world like not always being totally on my side and I start rethinking my entire like policy of being intentionally over trusting, which is a thing that I actually think about. I want to be that. So this guy definitely stole like 50, 60 bucks from me, but that by far was not the greatest like negative impact that this experience had on me. Suddenly I'm thinking like how do I avoid getting taken advantage of again? All the space in my brain that my new like theft protection algorithms are gonna take up and just generally building a wall between me and the world that's gonna decrease my enjoyment of the world. And this from me, a guy who's pretty much got the whole world on his side, I'm a straight white dude with money. Just one little betrayal and I'm rethinking the way I think about all other humans? Come on! Maybe every act of trust is a gamble that we choose to make. But I think the feeling of being taken advantage of is way less pleasant than the feeling of having your trust be justified and having the good desired outcome happen. On the scale of violations of trust, of course, a taxi driver stealing your money and you not being smart enough to like realize it's happening is really far down the scale. I don't want to say that this was like a huge, terrible thing that happened to me. I'm just surprised at the impact it had on me and I feel like if I let that change the way I think about the world, that's not bad for the scammer or the thief, that's bad for me. But if that guy is rationalizing his theft, or if anybody is rationalizing them taking advantage of other people by saying like, yeah, that person can afford to have that stuff taken from them, whatever that is. Maybe. Maybe that's the case. Maybe I can afford to have 60 bucks stolen from me. But I don't think that our society can afford to be constantly looking over its shoulder. We have to be able to trust each other or society falls apart. That to me is the true untold, unrecognized cost of being the kind of person who takes advantage of other people's trust. That thing, not the theft, is what ends up making the world a significantly worse place. And it makes me really angry. John I'll see you on Tuesday. Hello there, end screen. If you're interested in being part of a street team for my upcoming tour, uh, dates in the description, there is a link in the description to a form that you can fill out. It would be great if you wanted to help us out.